hello guys welcome back to our channel more news is coming into from the country and it looks like uh, more agitations will still be surfacing if something is not done very fast over this matter and the Yoruba nations have taken it is a notch higher a step further uh, by doing what people actually do not believe they could do in a short period of time but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube but right, let's go straight into the news of the day a self-determination group yoruba voice of li liberation that's y-o-v-o-l-i-b that's yovolip has petitioned the United Nations, European Union, African Union, United States, Britain, Nigerian Human Rights Commission, and all the governors of the Southwest states, including Kogi and Kwara, over alleged liberties abuses by the federal government. Mm. The group also warned against arresting leading Yoruba nationalities, especially the Are. On four of Yoruba land, that's Ibagani Adams and President General of the Yoruba World Congress, YWC, Professor Banji Akintoye, saying Nigerians in the diaspora will respond if the two leaders are touched. The group, in a statement titled Four Things President Muhammad Buhari Must Do to Avoid International Actions and Sanctions, signed by its president, Dr. Adekunle Ademola. A United Nation, United Kingdom-based lawyer, urged the global community to call the Buhari-led government to order on the use of life ammunition against harmless protesters, saying it is a gross abuse of human rights, which, if not stopped, could lead to revo revolutionary response from the people. It noted that the Nigerian government must respect the right of expression and end violence on peaceful protesters and provide a platform for dialogue on the way forward. The job of law enforcement agencies is to monitor the protests such that order is maintained. This is far from the case in the treatment of protesters in Nigeria. For example, in September 2019, Edis Kalamad, a United Nations Special Rapporteur, stated in her report, on 29th and 30th May 2016, during a demonstration, the Nigerian military opened fire on indigenous people of Biafra members and bystanders in Onitsha. At least 60 persons were killed and over 70 injured, mainly shot in the back. The exact number of deaths remains unknown. People of Yoruba land and entire Nigeria have the right to express peacefully expressing their choices in the affairs of Nigeria. In every civilized community, similar to what is operated during Bre exists, and similar situations in the history of nations, groups and parties for and against particular terms of association should be allowed to exercise their fundamental right of expression in enabling environments that, that enhances informed choices. Also, Nigerian government must desist from the part of deploying military and lethal weapons on peaceful protesters. It is the job of the police to control the citizen population in law enforcement, while the army is for controlling and enforcing borders. Dispatching military to meet, to meet peaceful protesters with lethal weapons is in breach of the law, national and internationally. Wow. This is quite a, a different one, and then Nigerians have taken to their social media to respond to this. This one here is saying, that's correct. Thank you so much. Move on. This one here is saying, Buhari's case should be taken to ICC, International Criminal Court. That's a strong one. This one here is saying, uh, the president must pay for all this. He has violated human rights and should account for it. This one here is saying, um... This is rightful way to handle matters. But for your information, those nations you just mentioned care less about Nigeria and her problems. Let's try and handle and solve our problems ourselves. Mm. Okay? But they have responded to him. He said, yes, but it starts from sitting, sitting a petition before the next step. All right. Uh, this is um, another group entirely. 
uh, there have been a lot of groups coming up over the issue of um, human rights activi activism in Nigeria. Um, we've, we've had um, people from other walks of life. People are speaking. In fact, a lot, a lot of groups have been talking over the issue of um, structural violence. And October 1st, 2020, uh, we, uh, there was a, a protest. That's a revolution, hashtag revolution now that was uh, led by uh, the likes of Omo Sori and the Adeyoju. Uh, and to a lot, of, a lot of Nigerians were surprised. They woke up and found out that some persons have come on social media to, uh, to uh, announce that some of the members are still in custody. Uh, Moye Letore is still in Abuja. He can't move based on the last um, court case he had, where they had told him he cannot leave Abuja. He has been kept in Abuja till further notice. Uh, we don't know when he's going to have that freedom of movement outside Abuja again, but for the now, he's still residing in Abuja. And uh, it's amazing, though, that the revolution now, maybe the word revolution is a problem, but the truth is, if you check democratically in every, in every part of the world, democracy is allowed. Protest is allowed. There's nothing like illegal protest. In as much as, uh, uh, like the young man has said, he's a lawyer. He practice, he's practicing in the uh, UK, United Kingdom. Uh, the truth be told, protest is part of our, our rights in a democratic setting. And we shouldn't lose touch of that. And it, honestly, it's in this country we see that protesters, uh, the, the security personnel, use life ammunition against protesters. What happened to rubber bullets? People have lost their lives several over on protests. Uh, that's why, so, to a great extent, uh, they keep glamouring that more Nigerians should come and let it be more so that by the time they see the crowd of Nigerians, they'll be scared, you know, to 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 come against them. But the truth be told, it's getting out of hand. Protests should still be allowed. Protests sh sh should still be freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of and. If not for the fact that these things are getting out of hand, more groups are coming up and more groups may come up if things are not done differently. Yes, in other news, uh, the government have been trying to tell Nigerians they plead on, they plead on Nigerians to understanding that they should please be patient with them over policies, over laws that they do not understand. Even when it is passed into law, there are processes to you know reverse it and amend it. But the truth is, would they listen to us when we want to amend it? Okay? And these are the things we're talking about. Uh, that Niger Nigerians in diaspora are warning, especially the uh, Yoruba nation, people from the southwest, are saying, look, array of Kankan, I'm talking about uh, Iba Adams, Ghani Adams, no matter, because he's been very, very, very vocal. Honestly, that young man has been very, very vocal. Um, Professor, uh, uh, Prof, Prof Akitoye has been talking, you know, he's the president of um, Yoruba uh, World Congress, and he has been saying that he, they, they want to, he's not angling for restructuring. He said the time for restructuring is long gone. But he's saying, look, we want a nation called Oduduwa Republic. And it's going to be bloodless. He's thinking of um, that uh, diplomatically, dialogically, uh, they're diplomatically getting the nation without, you know, shedding lives or shedding blood. Life, blood, uh, blood. But, and they're now saying, look, because he's calm and because he's calculated, you do not touch their, their, their mouthpiece. No harm should come their harm's way. And if you ask me, they've been very, honestly, especially Professor Akiba uh, Kito, he has been very uh, intellectual in his uh, agitation for an Oduduwa nature, an Oduduwa nation. And also, if you look at, he, he I don't know how he did it, but he did it good. He he, he brought um, Oduduwa nation into UNPO. I think that the 45th nation that entered UNPO. And that was done seamlessly. And the, the Yoruba people, the Yoruba nation uh, group, are now telling uh, the world who cares to listen and look. And they're also reporting the government of the day to some of these international bodies that look, we are bringing it to the notice of the world that you must not touch these guys and you should stop this issue of illegal protest. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. What's the take on this? I feel that if something is not done very fast over these issues that is, you know, coming up, springing up every day in Nigeria, more groups will come out. Honestly, there will be so much that will begin to wonder, okay, which of this is which, which of you, but all of them will be centered on one, it's one and probably the same thing. What do you think about um, what is coming up? More of the Yoruba nations are coming up and they're speaking forth and they're speaking in the same language, basically, and they're saying they actually want a nation. And those who have been talking about nation building or nation, um, the, those who are talking about secession, other groups are saying, 
no harm should come to them or else more issues will come out come out so let's meet in that conversation what